I'm going to make a very romantic dessert for you now. This is called Coeur de Creme, or in English, Vanilla Cream Hearts. They are simply divine. They're like clouds in your mouth because they're so soft and delicate. So to start this, we need a little blender like this. And I've got some ricotta here, 250 grams of ricotta. Make sure when you're buying your ricotta that it's quite firm, just like this. We put that straight into our little blender here with 120 grams of caster sugar for some sweetness. And I did say that they are vanilla cream hearts, so we need a good hit of vanilla. I've got some vanilla extract here, but it has the seeds in it, so we'll see those beautiful little speckles once it's finished. So I want a teaspoon and a half, so we can really taste that. Beautiful. Now, we need some orange zest. And this is quite a large orange, so I just need the zest of about half of this. I don't want it to overtake the vanilla because it's all about the vanilla here. Okay, lid goes on, and we just want to pulse this until it's really smooth. All right, let's have a look. This is really smooth now, so we can start adding the cream. Very important to add the cream second, not with the ricotta because it can tend to split. So we need 250 millilitres of cream. So really easy measurements to remember. 250 ricotta, 250 cream, and that goes straight in now. So that's 200 there. And another 50 millilitres from this pot. Lid goes on, and again, we'll just pulse it until it comes together. Okay, this is just perfect. The right consistency, it's glossy and it hasn't started to curdle. So I'll just take this out, scrape the blade. We want to keep all of it so it makes four perfect hearts. And now we'll place it into a larger bowl, just over here. Scrape that in. And to make these super soft and light, and to resemble clouds, I've got two egg whites that I've whisked until they were firm. We'll add half of this now. And then we'll just start to fold that in. You can be a little bit rough at this stage, but that last section, we do want to really be gentle so it's nice and light. Okay, last bit. Fold it in again. Now that is just perfect. So now we can start placing them in the mould. So I've got heart moulds here. It's only appropriate, but you could actually do this in a large mould or in actual fact, just use some muslin or my little trick, just get some chucks, some damp, clean chucks, of course, wet them and you can actually mould them into balls or really rough hearts. So we're going to place it in there, press that down so it fits nicely and then we want to fill them up quite high so there's no air bubbles. Now, the reason I'm putting it in the muslin or the chucks just like this is because we want to drain off the excess liquid. We need to set these in the fridge overnight. So by doing that, they'll firm up nicely, leaving all the liquid behind and perfectly set hearts. And they're going to be so delicious. So just fold that over just like this. We're going to just flip it over and then we can continue the process. So four more hearts here into the fridge overnight. hearts are chilling in the fridge, we're going to make a beautiful berry compote to go with it. It's really fast to do. First of all, I've got 400 grams of frozen berries. Other alternatives to this, you could use rhubarb works really well. But again, keeping it classic, 400 grams straight into a little pot just like this with all of their juices. Also, we need the juice of that orange that we zested before and we want to squeeze that in and that'll make it really sticky and delicious and give it a little bit of sweetness. And speaking of sweetness, we just need a touch more sugar because these frozen berries are slightly tart. So around three tablespoons of caster sugar in there. And for some spices, one cinnamon stick, one star anise, 
and I love vanilla so a little bit more vanilla this time I'm going to be using a vanilla bean so we'll just remove one from my little test tube here we'll split it in half straight down the center scrape some of those seeds straight in and then we're going to put the whole vanilla bean in there too. So we just want to bring this to the boil and then cook it for about 10 minutes until all of those fruits collapse. We'll cool it down and then we're ready to serve our beautiful cream hearts. Our hearts have set so it's time to plate up now. I'll take out that vanilla bean and this is cooled completely. You can see it's lovely and syrupy. It's chunky still which is the way I like it. In France I've had this a few times and they simply serve it just with a raspberry coulis. But I think this makes it a little bit more interesting. The berries that we've used here are blueberry, blackberry and raspberry. So a great combination. We're just putting this on a white vibrant plate. So you get that contrast with the white and the berries there. We'll get our hearts and you can see that this chucks is really, really wet so it's absorbed all of that way. We're going to flip it and demold it. Look at that. I'm excited about this dessert. This is just divine. Open that up and very carefully with just this palette knife here, flip it upside down and push that straight on. So being really gentle not to ruin it too much. How good does that look? I might do one more. So we'll get this one. Take the mould off. Another way of doing this is just gathering that chucks very carefully, flipping it straight off just like that. I've got some edible violets here that we can just put in and around. This is for the lovers out there. Next time it's Valentine's Day. This is the dessert you have to do. They are beautiful. I can't wait to have a little taste. Look how soft that is. Oh. Tell you what, that is going to send hearts fluttering all over Australia. Valentine's Day, this is the dessert to do.